What's up? Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, you're gonna get all quiet now? What's up? <laughs> go up to the camera and go, what's up? That, that's it. What's up? There you go. Good work, Zay. Zay was saying he's the best basketball player in the family. The family. So, what do you have to say to that, Nate? Um, I'll let him talk. <laughs> wow. So, for the first time ever, you have nothing to say back. <laughs> no. Wow. I'll let my actions do that. Oh, okay. All right. There's a little trash talk. Usually, Nate will have something to say back, but... A little shy right now. Huh? <laughs> oh, they're the best. Playing basketball out in the back, throwing the football around. It's my favorite part about coming home and seeing them. And I try to maintain that kind of cool big brother vibe. Oh! P. All right, best, best hooper in the family. Get in there. Oh, good shot. Oh, good shot, Nate. Oh, yeah, good job, Zay. For him to choose to be home, and not only be home, but be home, to be here, that says a lot about who he is. Because he's fun to be around when he's not competing. Oh, we're on the board. Let's go. Oh, nothing but net. Oh, you got me. That's, that's how you end your dad's life. <laughs> What was your reaction when he went up for that touchdown in the back of the end zone? We, <laughs> no. we, went, we went nuts. I start screaming, Bell starts barking, and Dad is saying, Shut up! I can't, I hear, can't it. hear I missed it. Back in the end zone! Touchdown! It is Dawson Knox! If he's in the right room, he's going to be a friend to everyone. Buffalo is the right room. Family. I didn't even know I had this family, but now I do. Hey, love is an action verb, and he certainly has gone above and beyond the call of duty in um, showing us how much he loves us. I think that's the number one blessing in my life. They were always there to support me. My family means everything to me. I wouldn't be nearly who I am or what I am today without them. All right, so this is Brentwood Academy here in Brentwood, Tennessee, the old uh, stomping grounds. I was the class of 2015. Um, it feels like just last year that I was in here coming to classes and playing ball, but uh, nothing but great memories from BA, so it's good to be back. Good to see you. This is Abby, great childhood friend. I was best friends with her brother growing up, so. What are you, are you a senior now? Junior. Okay. I'm taking AP Oh, I took AP Chem. Mr. Bryant? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's the it's worst. Yeah. It's bringing back a lot of memories of, I don't even remember the words, titrations. Oh, my God. <laughs> How did you even remember that? No, word? because it was traumatic. <laughs> so going back to my high school at Bruin Academy is always fun, just because it's such a small community. Dude, what's up, Landon? It's one of my cousins. You better not pull out your phone or you'll get Saturday school. I know, but we have a family group chat. OK, well, how do I add you back? I don't know. Look at me right there. Well, sure. boom. Now we're locked. I just want to say thank you for saving my fantasy football team. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad, hey, I'm glad I helped a little bit. Oh, let's go, baby. I hope you won. Hey, you on my fantasy team. Let's freaking go. I told my husband, I was like, this is my guy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hopefully you won some games. Good. You put out Buttercup. How's your sister? She good? Oh, she's great. I saw her this weekend. I missed her. Her and, her and Luke were back home for the first time. We were all, for, all home together, I think, for the first time in over a year. Oh, okay. So, yeah, we were all playing board games you and stuff all weekend. Mama. I will. I will. Where are we at? JK. Right here. Check it out, baby. Class of 2015. Yeah, so check it out. Mom right here. Check out the curly hair. Uh, it's pretty special right there. I think that hairstyle needs to come back in. And then dad right here, way back in the day, I think he was like 6'6", 140, string bean. But yeah, that's the, uh, that's the old parents right there. My dad played basketball back at Brentwood Academy. Um, went to go play basketball at Belmont. I think he was like a four-year starter. And then my mom, 
Um, she likes to say that she's not athletic, but I mean, she could beat me in a race until I was like a freshman in high school. Like she is so fast. She set all the high school records at Bruin Academy that were still records when I got to high school. So I was, you know, walking down the hallway, you'd see the track and field boards and they'd be, you know, records from the last couple of years. And then you look back in like 1989 or 1990, my mom's records were still there. These are just all the state championships, you know? Yeah. Sadly, I never got one, but my brother got three of them, I think. Yeah, he was here at the so, right yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. He taught him everything he knows, right? That's exactly right, yeah. You know, we set the foundation for him. <laughs> Training room. Spent a, several days in there for the old ankle, the cankle. Yeah, I was really late with my growth spurt. Going into my junior year, I was, I think like 5'9", 5'10", 160, 170-ish. And I quit basketball because I was too small. I was gonna be on the JV team as a junior. I wanted to focus on football. Wasn't growing, wasn't growing, was still somehow able to kind of stay up there with the top tier athletes. And to see that perseverance and the tenacity and the relentless just work ethic in that, it just felt so obvious this, this was finally gonna be his time. And then finally, that was the year I grew, hit the growth spurt. I was like 6'4", 210 pounds, 215 pounds going into my senior year. Um, and I was so excited to finally be able to compete at a high level. I was a starting quarterback. And then very first game, I go out and have a dislocated ankle. It goes out in the first game, we were over in Memphis playing MUS. Yeah. yeah, we had a little package. We had a little sophomore quarterback that ended up being a really good player. and. We wanted to put him in a wildcat where we could use him as a receiver, so we threw Dawson out at receiver in the third quarter early. Caught a little hitch, broke for about 25 yards or so. Mm -hmm. He got tackled on the sideline and broke his ankle, and that was the only game he ever started for yeah. us. So yeah, we got about two quarters under yeah. my belt. It was some brilliant coaching there. We lost our starting <laughs> quarterback for the season in the third quarter at a position he didn't even play. You know, if but, I wouldn't have had this, I probably would have gone to some small school trying to play quarterback. Him, yeah. yeah, maybe I'd be giving Josh a run for his money right now. God had different plans for me. I thought I was set to play the whole year, go win a state championship. I had it all written out of my head, um, go earn a Division I scholarship, but that all came crashing down on that first game. But, you know, looking back at it now, I'm weirdly thankful for it because it got me to where I am today. Because a lot of times it's in those moments that the best work's done. You have the opportunity to become something different in a really good way. You know, he got basically a full academic scholarship to Ole Miss, so it really wasn't costing him anything. We said, hey, we think he's, he's a really good athlete. I think he could do something for you all. So they took him over there and started three years for him, I think. Coach Freeze was awesome. He gave me like a call the morning of my surgery um, and told me they had a walk-on spot for me if I wanted it. At the time, I had no idea how walk-ons even worked. Like, yeah. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I took a couple other visits, but um, Ole Miss was just the perfect fit. Transition to tight end, was getting thrown around my first couple years. I didn't know what I was doing, but we slowly started figuring out the tight end thing. Um, I'm kind of glad I've stuck with it, but. Uh, yeah, it's worked out for you. <laughs> it's worked out to yeah, this point. So you got to see this jersey I gave my head coach. Thanks for putting me at receiver against MUS, which is when I did the whole ankle, so. <laughs> but I said, seriously though, I probably would have went to some small school and tried to play quarterback when it worked out. Love you, coach. God's plan. So, see, it's all sentimental and nice after, nice after I throw a little jab at him. But no, thanks to him, like that was, uh, that, this was the starting point here. What's been your favorite moment or game so far? Mm. First touchdown, of course, was cool. You know, I mean, he didn't score a touchdown in college. One throws, pass is complete. Dawson Knox, the rookie from Ole Miss. Allen again, he's got a wide open tight end on the outside. Dawson Knox breaks a few tackles, battles for another one. Hey, Josh Allen, you're not the only one who can wow. stiff on people and run people over. The Cincinnati game, I did watch that clip a lot. I mean, the stiff arm. Oh my gosh, I love that. His mom and dad are here to watch him play his first NFL game in Buffalo. It's some illumination of kind of some of his character and that tenacity, the work ethic that I won't be denied. However, I know what's underneath the pads and who he is as a person. He's a talented athlete, 
But that's not the best part of Dawson Knox. I have Dawson's rookie, rookie pitcher here with his um, all the tight ends. Oh, yeah. That yeah, yeah, that was uh, That's your oh, rookie for sure. year. Rookie year, me, Tommy, Nate, Jason Croom, Lee Smith, Tyler Croft. Remember that like it was yesterday. I've got eight state championship football I've rings, and I've got a sugar bowl ring I need to put up here. Oh, yeah, the sugar bowl ring. Yeah. I sat on the uh, bench for it. And then this is my son Bo's West Point sword that he gave me when he graduated. So uh, we've got a lot of memorabilia there. And when Dawson, <laughs> when Dawson and the Bills win theirs, his is going to go right here. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's exactly right. No doubt. I think you better ask him if you may borrow. Well, oh, no, look. We already <laughs> got the spot picked out. My, my, mine's going to be a replica. Oh. <laughs> no. This is my grandmother, Bunny. Hello. Welcome. Great, great Welcome. grandma name. And then this is Did. D-I-D. Makes it easy. Bunny and Did. Yes. Two grandparents. So yeah, we're going down to the Cliftsonian. So after the Smithsonian, this is the Cliftsonian. We got some good memorabilia, some awesome pictures of basically everybody in the family. And here's Dawson in the Probably his first uni uh, football uniform here. <laughs> Here's another one with our son, Bo, and he, uh, he's face. got Bo's uh, West Point uniform. Yeah, that's the game face right there, I yeah, think. Yeah, look at that face. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, they save everything, yeah. We've got the Knox jerseys here with uh, Dawson's autographs that he uh, put on for us. That was the first thing he signed for us, and you've got to get a picture of how he signed it because when he signed it, do you remember? I stood back and I just cried like a little baby. Oh you yeah, I do remember, yeah, yeah, I yeah, did sure because do. because it was so personal. So now, when I go into the stadium with it, I walk everywhere like this so everybody can read my journey. <laughs> People uh, behind me at the ticket thing say, are you really his bun bun? And I said, <laughs> yes, he's my, uh, my oldest baby boy. So during the season, it's just full go football, eliminate any distraction. It's kind of like you just have to have tunnel vision on the season, on practice, on the games coming up, coming back down to earth, like that mental reset of the off season. My family is what means most to me. Like this is such a relaxing place to be home, to be with family, with people that love me, that I love. And he certainly has gone above and beyond the call of duty and um, showing us how much he loves us. And you say, how does he do that? And I say, every time I text him, I get a response. That's <laughs> not right. That well, is not right. Most He's of the times, I try to, most of the time. I have never, and that might take a day or two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's the truth. But, but I've never sent you a text where he didn't respond. And, yeah. uh, well, thanks, buddy. I so thank do my you. best. And but now it's I'm on film, it. so you must continue. <laughs> that's right, that's right. I can't fall off now. <laughs> love you, buddy. I love you, Angel. Just little things like that, spending time. I mean, time is money, and being able to spend that time with the people I care about the most is my favorite thing to do. And for him to choose to be home, and not only be home, but be home, to be here. When he comes home, he's just Dawson. Easy, boys. That's new furniture. Hey, Boo, you better jump in and help your brother. You better help your brother. That's how easy. Not hurt your brother. Help your brother. Oh, yeah. You better not let that hand free. Oh, no. Oh, do you want some next? We have white chicken enchiladas, one of Dawson's favorites. Mm -hmm. um, served over a little Mexican salad. If you follow Dawson on any of the social media, you probably see a lot of the food yeah. stories. He's always. He likes in a to. Movie. He like yeah. always. Go for it. Oh, it didn't turn out very good. Look at that. That's really the cover of the magazine right there. Uh -huh. Good, 
So, high low, you ready? Who wants to go first? Oh yeah. High low of the day. I have two lows. One, <laughs> Dawson talking a lot. Wow. <laughs> so one was Dawson talking a lot. What's two is what? Homework. Homework. What's the best thing about today? Probably sleeping. Sleeping? Yeah. That's the best thing you can think about. Oh, Pop-Tarts. And Pop-Tarts. Oh, Pop-Tarts. Pop sleeping on Pop-Tarts. Sleeping on Pop-Tarts. Pop okay. Okay. <laughs> Low is not being able to do my lacrosse game. Yeah, lacrosse game cancel. Yeah. So sad. That was my low today, too. Disappointed you didn't get to come watch your play. Oh, uh, and then high as kids now. Family dinner. Mom's food. That's right. Yes, sir. Dead. When I was 15 years old, my parents told us that they were looking into adopting. And, you know, me, my brother, and my sister were like, okay, awesome. You know, let's do it. Brought them back home, and our family's been complete ever since. And we never really knew that we were missing something until we got both of them. And seeing them go literally from zero and two years old to now they're 10 and 12, you know, playing Madden with them now, playing basketball out on the back, throwing the football around, it's, it's my favorite part about coming home and seeing them. Those are my games. Uh, think about Jay, it. What is your favorite game right now? Halo. You bought, but. <laughs> That's right. I uh, like which one? Hmm. Halo 1. Oh, you bought Halo 1. Halo Wars. I when did that it. come out? I bought Halo Wars. When did that come out? Like in the 1890s? I don't think you were alive. Yeah. <laughs> seeing that cultivated in him, the, that sensitivity, the sweetness, the protective side. He's butter. I mean, he melts, you know, to where he he doesn't even understand why is it that my heart is now outside of my chest on behalf of one of my siblings. It's been really fun to see glimpses of the dad that he will be in that. You know, I ran track and there were some records and whatnot that stood and they slowly started getting replaced by the next fastest person. I was like, that's the way it is, is it? It's almost like it never happened. So you better make sure that your value and who you are is about something more than a name on a plaque. You know, I could call her about anything and she would give me the best advice. I mean, there's nothing that she hasn't done for me. My family means everything to me. They were always there to support me. They let me know that I didn't need to keep playing sports to, you know, find happiness in my life. Besides my mom maybe pressuring me into running track, cause she did. My number one biggest blessing of my life is the two parents I have. So, um, love you mom and dad. Awesome. I've, I've got 623 pictures. All right, where do we start? <laughs> These are draft night. Okay. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty, I love that one. Mm -hmm. Look at Luke, he's so excited. <laughs> The Buffalo Bills select Dawson. Oh, so, my little brother goes to hug me right here. This is and awesome. he punches me in the mouth on accident. <laughs> and I'm starting to bleed all down my chin. So my little brother just right here, stood over there, right? Watch. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> So, okay, this is freshman year of high school. Yeah, look how little he is. Look at those arms. <gasps> Stop it! Look at this guy. Look at him. You know, for moms, I think it's it's not the bigger moments. You know, it's not the obvious moments. It's, I mean, it's watching him come out of the tunnel. It's it's just watching him on the sideline. He didn't have to be in the end zone. <laughs>